Nineteen billion dollars. What would you do with nineteen billion dollars? Just to put it into perspective, if you had one billion of those nineteen billion dollars, you would be able to pay off an entire five-year college tuition at Cal State Fullerton. This is including your books and all the semester parking passes that you may need, and still have more than enough left over. You could buy about nine of the most expensive penthouses on Park Avenue in Manhattan, New York. At about 100 of the mansions that you see famous celebrities move into. Now that's only with one billion dollars. So why am I bringing up this large sum of money? Well, the reality of it is that 19 billion dollars is a direct medical cost for falls for older adults in just one year in the U.S. This number is only temporary, since the older adult population continues to live longer. And is expected to double by 71 million by the year 2030. Unfortunately, falls are the leading non-medical cause of serious injury in older adults. But behold, billions of dollars could be saved through public health interventions. 42 percent of falls can be prevented by a well-designed behavioral change program for older adults. I spent my summer working as an intern. In the Center for Successful Aging, with Drs. Rose and Wilson, I participated in development and submission of a research proposal to the Retirement Research Foundation in Chicago, Illinois, to earn grant funding to develop a group-based fall risk reduction intervention for older adults that have been identified at moderate to high risk for falls. The Center for Successful Aging at Cal State Fullerton. Provides direct services to help older adults residing in Orange County community. Located in the bottom floor of the Health Science and Kinesiology Building, it serves as a cross-disciplinary learning environment for undergraduate and graduate students to acquire the skills necessary to be effective health professionals and educators. Doctors Rose and Wilson recently developed a fall reduction program for older adults called Stay Well at Home. This is a one-on-one -on -one program focused on balance and strength, home safety, and modifications, as well as discussion about five risk factors in behavioral strategies and self-regulatory skills among older adults. After the success of the Stay at Well Home program, Drs. Rose and Wilson started to develop a group-based version of this program to better reach older adults. This new program includes a group-mediated behavioral change intervention. That is aimed to help older adults to develop goals, build support, and participate in fall protective behaviors even long after the completion of their program. With the help of my preceptors, I was able to assist them in grant writing preparations and develop curriculum materials for this new fall reduction program. When I first started in this internship, I was really unaware about the health concerns and the effects of falls among older people. In fact, This research internship allowed me the opportunity to be more knowledgeable about falls among older people through the readings of scientific journal articles on the interventions and strategies on behavior change. Not only did I read and reference the journal articles for the grant proposal, I was also able to develop materials such as a calendar overview of the program sessions, a study design schemata, and the collection of data analysis by listening to facilitator interviews. This research internship improved my communication skills, expanded my professional development, increased my knowledge on public health topics. I gained exposure to grant writing development and the submission procedures that are done with it, as well as I became familiarized with theories and approaches that are related to changing health behaviors in older adults. Initially, the idea of joining a research lab was daunting. But after much consideration and actually applying to the internship, it became a part of my very own personal learning experience. This research internship strengthened my desire to apply to graduate school in the near future. Being under the mentorship of two extraordinary females that are leading researchers in their field served as a positive role model to my academic journey. The Allied Health Academy research internship was an overall rewarding and engaging learning experience that really enhanced my academics at Cal State University Fullerton.